Okay, so another very common knot uh, at the end of your rope or stopper knot, and you'll see this a lot, is the figure eight stopper knot. So you're going to take your working end, uh, and a little ways in from the working end, you know, take a bite of the rope. Okay, so in this case, I'm holding the bite with the standing end um, toward my palm and the free end or working end along my fingers. So now I'm going to take the working end and I'm going to go all the way around that bite and then tuck through and pull up and I end up with a figure eight stopper knot and you can see it's got that kind of a figure eight shape in the knot. This is a great stopper knot. If it gets pulled real tight and kind of collapses on itself, you'll see it bends, uh, sort of folds in half, but it makes a great, very robust stopper knot so it won't pull through. When it's laid out flat, I first dress the knot up. It's got that classic figure eight uh, shape to it. Okay? So this is the figure eight uh, stopper knot. We'll make a figure eight loops and some uh, bends and such later. But again, I'm going to hold the standing end across my palm, make a bite in the rope, and then on the same side uh, between myself and the bite, I circle the working end all the way around. So it crosses over and then behind the bite, and then I tuck through the bite. And then as I pull and dress that knot up and take the twists out of the rope, you end up with that figure eight stopper knot.